Hey folks, it's been a rain-free day across the valley today, but radar has not been quiet despite the lack of rain. We go a little bit closer and you'll see right in the middle part of the valley. See some stuff fire up here. Those are sugarcane burns going on in the middle part of the valley and all the smoke goes off to the north, but no rain. So uh, we don't really expect any anytime soon. Watch future track. It says tonight, yes, clouds, but rain, no. During the daytime tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny skies. A dry day again. We go to Friday. Same kind of thing with patchy clouds early, but then partly to mostly sunny again. And this just repeats itself over and over and over as we go through the rest of the week, through the weekend, and into next week. And rainfall wise, we just don't see any Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Don't see any Sunday, Monday, or Tuesday either. It looks like a pretty dry forecast for the days ahead. These, is, these are the temperatures. This is where we stand right now. And take a look 89 McAllen and Edinburgh, 90 in the western Rio Grande City. Mid 80s when you get closer to the coast from uh, Brownsville to Port Isabel, Harlingen to Raymondville, mid 80s as well. Dew points are climbing once again, 68 to about 70, 71. We'll put 69 as an average on the muggy meter, but we're certainly getting close to that very humid category once again after such nice dry hair was here for a few days. It has since moved out. Low temperatures tonight, not going to get below 70. We're going to be warm and muggy all night long. And then tomorrow with sunshine, temperatures warm back up to 90 plus in the western counties, upper 80s in the eastern counties, and even at the island, about 82 degrees tomorrow. So a very warm, dry day across the region. The normal for this time of year is 84. And we're going 90, 91, 91. We're not going to make records, but certainly well above the average for the early part of November. Now let's look at the rest of Texas. We're not alone in our warmth. It's 83 all the way up in the panhandle, northwest corner of the state, Dalhart, 93. Dallas is 8 or 83 rather. 81 in Dallas, 77 in Austin right now. Houston and San Antonio both at 82 degrees. So look for fronts, something to cool it off. There's nothing. Instead, the big words warm and humid with the southeasterly wind. Alas, there's a front on the map on Friday, but it doesn't get here. It washes out way to the north of the area, so we stay warm and humid for Saturday, for Sunday, for Monday. Our next front looks like now sometime Wednesday, maybe even Thursday. Models are slowing down on that, so we're a long way away from any big time cool down. Instead, just very warm conditions across the valley through the weekend. Traveling tomorrow to San Antonio. The day starts at about 64 degrees in the morning, 65 in Dallas, 72 in Houston. Houston and most of the state warms into the 80s during the afternoon, so a very warm day across the Lone Star State. So tonight, partly cloudy, warm and humid, a low of 72, and then tomorrow back to 90. Plenty of sunshine, warm and very humid. Southeast winds continue at about 10 to 17 miles per hour. Here we go, next seven days, 90, 91, 91, then we just stay there, 91, 90. We drop it a couple degrees, one degree for Tuesday and Wednesday, but right now looks like that front's holding off a little longer, so we just stay warm and humid. And there's that clock still spinning back one hour Saturday night before you go to bed. That's your updated first one five forecast.